hydrogen gas, which is stored in a tank in the car, reacts it with oxygen, and you get electricity, which powers a motor. This vehicle doesn't run on gasoline. It doesn't hum like your typical engine. And when it moves, it leaves behind nothing but water vapor. Strange, right? You might have heard whispers of hydrogen cars, but do you really know what powers them? Is it electricity? Is it combustion? Or is it something else entirely? Hidden beneath the hood is a mix of futuristic engineering and ancient elements. From fuel cell stacks to silent electric motors, this machine might just redefine transportation. But how does it all work together? And is hydrogen really the fuel of the future? Let's find out. What makes a hydrogen car different? At its core, a hydrogen car is built around the same goal as any other vehicle, moving you from place to place. But how it does that is where the difference begins. Unlike gasoline-powered cars that burn fuel, hydrogen vehicles rely on a cleaner and more efficient process to create motion. And depending on the technology used, the difference can be huge. There are two main types of hydrogen vehicles. One uses a combustion engine, and the other uses an electric motor powered by a fuel cell. Both rely on hydrogen as their energy source, but they convert it into power in completely different ways. In a hydrogen combustion engine vehicle, hydrogen is mixed with air and ignited inside the engine. This explosion drives the pistons, much like in a traditional gasoline engine. While it produces fewer emissions than gasoline, it still releases nitrogen oxides, pollutants harmful to health and the environment. The other type is a fuel cell electric vehicle, or FCEV. This version doesn't burn anything. Instead, it uses a chemical reaction between hydrogen and oxygen to produce electricity. That electricity then powers an electric motor, moving the vehicle forward. The only emission? Water vapor. Fuel cell vehicles are not only cleaner, but also far more efficient. With around 60% energy efficiency, almost double that of combustion engines, they can travel longer distances using less fuel. That makes them not just a greener option, but also a smarter one for the future of sustainable transportation. Inside the fuel cell stack, the heart of a hydrogen car lies in its fuel cell stack. This is where the real magic happens. Hydrogen enters the stack from the storage tank, and oxygen is pulled in from the surrounding air. The two never directly mix, but their interaction creates electricity through a quiet and efficient chemical process. Each fuel cell in the stack contains three main parts, an anode, a cathode, and an electrolyte membrane. When hydrogen reaches the anode, it splits into protons and electrons. The protons pass through the membrane, while the electrons take a separate path, creating an electric current. This electricity is then directed to the motor, powering the vehicle. There are different types of fuel cells, but the most common in cars is the proton exchange membrane, PM, fuel cell. It's compact, lightweight, and operates at low temperatures, ideal for daily driving. Another type, the solid oxide fuel cell, is more efficient at high temperatures but better suited for stationary power systems, not vehicles. To increase output, fuel cells are stacked together, hence the name. The more cells, the more electricity generated. And when it's all running, the only thing leaving the tailpipe is water vapor. The role of the electric motor. Once electricity is produced in the fuel cell stack, it needs to be converted into motion. That's where the electric motor comes in. It takes the electrical energy and transforms it into mechanical energy to turn the wheels. This process is smooth, quiet, and efficient, much different from the rumble of a traditional engine. There are two main types of electric motors used in hydrogen vehicles, AC synchronous motors and DC brushless motors. Both serve the same purpose, but they work in slightly different ways. 
The AC synchronous motor uses magnets and a rotating magnetic field to generate torque. It's reliable and widely used in electric vehicles. The DC brushless motor, on the other hand, uses electronic switches to control the magnetic field. This makes it more efficient, with fewer moving parts and less wear over time. However, it's more complex to design and manage. Regardless of the type, the electric motor is what brings the hydrogen car to life. It responds instantly when you press the accelerator and delivers a smooth, steady ride. And because there's no combustion involved, the whole experience is quieter, cleaner, and almost vibration-free. Storing hydrogen safely. Powering a hydrogen vehicle starts with safely storing the fuel. Unlike gasoline, hydrogen is a gas that needs special handling. That's why hydrogen cars are equipped with advanced storage tanks designed to keep the fuel secure under high pressure or at extremely low temperatures. There are two main types of hydrogen storage systems, compressed gas tanks and cryogenic liquid tanks. Most vehicles today use compressed gas tanks. These are built from strong, lightweight materials like carbon fiber and can hold hydrogen at pressures up to 700 bar. That's nearly 700 times the pressure of air at sea level, so the tanks are rigorously tested for safety. Cryogenic tanks, on the other hand, store hydrogen as a liquid. While this allows for more fuel to be stored in a smaller space, it also requires complex cooling systems to maintain the ultra-low temperature. To prevent accidents, hydrogen tanks come with pressure relief devices and leak detectors. These safety systems are designed to act instantly if something goes wrong. Despite the challenges, today's hydrogen storage technology is highly secure and enables the vehicle to carry enough fuel for long-distance travel without frequent refueling. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. Power electronics and energy management. In a hydrogen vehicle, generating electricity is only part of the story. Managing that electricity is just as important. And that's where power electronics come in. These components act like traffic controllers making sure the right amount of electricity flows to the right place at the right time. The main players are the inverter and the converter. The inverter takes the direct current, DC electricity, from the fuel cell stack and turns it into alternating current, AC, for the electric motor. Without this step, the motor wouldn't run. The converter, on the other hand, adjusts voltage levels depending on the vehicle's needs, whether it's charging the battery or sending power to the motor. There's also a battery pack in the system. While not the main power source, it plays a supporting role. It stores excess energy from the fuel cell stack and helps during acceleration or when climbing hills. It also powers the car during startup or when the fuel cell stack isn't fully warmed up. All these systems work together in real time. Sensors and control units constantly monitor demand, temperature, and power flow, keeping everything balanced for smooth, responsive driving without wasting energy. Cooling and safety systems. Hydrogen vehicles may run clean, but they still generate heat, especially inside the fuel cell stack and power electronics. That's why an efficient cooling system is essential. Just like in gasoline cars, Temperature control helps keep everything operating within safe limits and prevents damage from overheating. The cooling system in a hydrogen vehicle uses both air and liquid coolants. As the fuel cell stack produces electricity, it also creates heat. A network of coolant channels runs through the stack, carrying away excess heat to a radiator where it's released into the air. Power electronics and the electric motor are also cooled in a similar way to ensure reliable performance. Safety systems are just as critical. Hydrogen is a highly flammable gas, but modern hydrogen vehicles are built with multiple layers of protection. Sensors placed throughout the car constantly monitor for leaks, unusual pressure, or system faults. 
If something goes wrong, the system automatically shuts down or vents the gas safely through pressure relief valves. These technologies work silently in the background. You won't notice them while driving, but they ensure every ride is not only smooth and efficient, but also safe, even under extreme conditions or during a crash. How it all works together. Every part of a hydrogen vehicle, from the tank to the motor, plays a role in a carefully synchronized process. When you press the accelerator, the system instantly springs into action. Hydrogen gas is released from the storage tank and passes through a regulator that controls the flow. It then enters the fuel cell stack. Inside the stack, hydrogen meets oxygen drawn from the air. A chemical reaction takes place at the anode, splitting hydrogen into protons and electrons. The protons move through the electrolyte membrane, while the electrons travel through an external circuit, creating electricity. That electricity is then directed to the power electronics, where it's converted and managed based on the vehicle's current needs. From there, the electric motor takes over. It transforms the electric energy into motion, driving the wheels quietly and smoothly. Any extra energy not used immediately is stored in the battery pack for later. At the same time, the cooling system ensures everything stays within a safe temperature range. The final touch. Water vapor exits the tailpipe, clean, harmless, and nearly invisible. It's a system built on precision and balance, offering a glimpse into what clean transportation can truly look like. Hydrogen vehicles aren't just machines, they're a quiet revolution on wheels. From splitting molecules to powering motors, every part works together in harmony to move us toward a cleaner future. While challenges like fuel cost and infrastructure remain, the technology itself is ready and already proving its potential. As production scales up and green hydrogen becomes more accessible, these cars could reshape how we think about driving. No smoke, no roar, just silent power and a trail of water vapor. If this glimpse into the future fascinated you, Stay with us for more. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.